Welcome back to the book of Philippians, chapter 3, verses 4 to 6 today. Let's read them. Though I also might have confidence in the flesh, if anyone else thinks he may have confidence in the flesh, I more so, circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of the Hebrews, concerning the law, a Pharisee, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, concerning the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. So again, this started yesterday morning, this section in the book of Philippians. And Paul had a warning for us there about trusting in circumcision. He says, we are those who are circumcised if we are people who are living in the Spirit. And here he goes on to say, well, you know, if somebody has something to brag about, you know, in the flesh, uh, check me out. I'm as Jewish as Jewish gets, right? That's what Paul is saying. He says, I have Jewish DNA. Look, I'm from one of the tribes. I'm from the tribe of Benjamin. Uh, above that, you know, I'm, I'm a Pharisee. I mean, who was better, at least perceived as being better in those days, stronger spiritually than the Pharisees? I mean, they were considered, you know, pretty much top, top of the pack. Well, if you want to get somebody really spiritual, get one of those Pharisees in here. Paul is telling us that being Jewish, being a Pharisee, being a Hebrew of the Hebrews, none of these things. Oh, you know, oh, maybe getting extra credit because, you know, hey, I'm Paul. I persecuted those Christians. That would be extra credit points. Paul says none of those points will, will serve to, to recommend us to God. We want to be people who are people, as verse 3 said, are people worshiping in the Spirit. Now, let's say something about also the righteousness which is in the law. Paul says, according to that, he was blameless. Paul's talking here about sort of the letter of the law, the the outward appearance. If you follow along and, and it looks like, wow, you're doing everything just right. You know, sometimes you're constrained by situations. I think we want to realize that there is no ultimate, there is no righteousness that's acceptable to God through his law. The law doesn't save us. What the law does is it shows us the way to go. It shows us what God's will and what his purpose for us is. The law gives us a pattern for living and it shows us what's right and what's wrong. And so we want to be obedient to God. We want to receive his power and his help so that we are obeying that law. And yet, even if we are having the righteousness which is in the law, does that save us? No, no, emphatically no. We're saved strictly by the righteousness of Jesus Christ. We're saved by Jesus' life lived out in his human body that he took. And then he offered that sacrifice to God the Father at the cross. The Father said, I'm accepting this. And then we receive it by faith as children of Abraham, as people who are believers in Jesus. See where we are? So even the righteousness which is in the law won't do anything for you or me. It'll just make us, it, it could just lead us to trust, unfortunately, in the wrong stuff. So even though you're keeping the seventh day Sabbath, or every, even though you've been baptized, or even though you've uh, done these commandments or those commandments, let's not become confused here. We're saved by Jesus, the death of Jesus, the sacrifice of Jesus, and by nothing else. 100% Jesus, zero everything else. And that is something to keep in mind. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, dear Father in heaven, who could claim to be more Jewish than Paul? Who could claim more rights to the kingdom based on his Jewishness than Paul? Not too many people. And yet, Paul said, none of these things will give me a right to the kingdom. My right to the kingdom is strictly in the mercy of God, giving the gift of salvation and life to us. Oh, Lord, help us to not lose sight of this important item. And then we ask for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, we want to be true to the Lord, and he will be true to us. God be with you, and you have a wonderful day.